The North American League of Legends talent pipeline is a bigger and bigger topic every offseason. Most of the time the focus is on criticizing the LCS and its teams, but there have been some success stories that are worth celebrating, and some of those have come through the annual Scouting Grounds events. Today we're going to look at the five best players that Scouting Grounds has produced since it was begun in 2016. And number five, we have Deftly. Stats and VODs are hard to find from the first Scouting Grads event, so it's difficult to say how well Deftly performed in 2016, but he ended up playing with E United in the NA Challenger Series for 2017 and did enough to break into the LCS with Golden Guardians the next year. After that, he split time between LCS and Academy in Cloud9, then spent 2020 on Evil Genius's Academy. Deftly has always struck me as a player with a high ceiling who has a hard time reaching it consistently. He's been a serviceable LCS bot laner, and there are some teams where he'd be an upgrade for 2021. I have a feeling his LCS story isn't finished being written. Number four is Tactical. Tactical plays for Team Liquid, so it's only fitting that he'd be fourth on this list. In 2018, Team Infernal took Tactical with the second pick of the Dragon Draft, and he delivered the highest damage share of any player in the tournament. There was no post-event draft that year, but Tactical found himself in the TSM Academy system in 2019 before moving over to Team Liquid, where he notoriously took over for Double Lift and earned second Team All-Pro honors for the Summer Split as well as Rookie of the Year. Let's hope we get to see plenty more pop-off highlights from Tactical as his career continues. Do you believe a 3v5 team fight? Cause TL certainly does. Give him the quadra, give him the kills. Tactical with the bloodline, a single-handed lead. The number three ranked player, Spica. I've been watching TSM's young jungler very closely over the past few months. His career has been a bit of a slow burn since being drafted second overall by Equifox after the 2017 scouting grounds, but in the past six months, his growth curve has spiked dramatically. By the time all these players' careers wrap up, Spica could challenge for the top spot on this list, I really believe that. He hasn't won individual awards like Tactical, but he has an LCS title and did his best work in the playoffs when it mattered most. If Spica wants to climb the list further, he needs to keep improving and show that he can adapt to meta shifts and changes in the roster around him. I'm confident he can pull it off and I'm excited to see how TSM will build around him for 2021 and beyond. The number two player on this list is Vulcan. Sometimes a player's stats during scouting grounds don't really show off their potential, but sometimes they do. In 2017, a French-Canadian support named Vulcan emerged from the tournament with a big KDA and tournament-leading kill participation. He was drafted fourth by Clutch Gaming and spent 2018 in Academy learning from Piglet, a former world champion whose influence has been very clear in Vulcan's laning skills and aggressive mindset. Vulcan was a critical piece in Clutch Gaming's run to the World Championships, and Cloud9 saw his value and paid a massive buyout to acquire him for 2020. The move paid off and Vulcan picked up the second All-Pro support in spring and first All-Pro in summer. Vulcan is the complete package and already one of the best supports in North America, with plenty of time to continue building up his legacy. The number one player, Blabber. Blabber attended the 2017 scouting grounds using the name Blabberfish2. He was by far the best jungler at the event statistically, but wasn't drafted until the ninth overall pick, seven spots behind Spica. Cloud9 saw what the other teams had missed and added him to their academy program. He split time with Svenskeren between LCS and Academy over the next two years, picking up Rookie of the Split in Summer 2018. He finally got to take over as the LCS starter for 2020 and rocketed to the top of the league with back-to-back first-team All-Pro selections and an MVP award. Blabber isn't a perfect player. We saw how his high-pressure style could be attacked by strong opponent game plans in the Summer Playoffs. But the fact that enemy teams build game plans around him is just another piece of evidence that he's become a true North American superstar. So far, Blabber is the best player to come out of four years of Scouting Grounds. The 2020 Scouting Grounds event is happening this week and it's the strongest group of young players since 2017, with several who have a good shot to break into the LCS over the next couple of years. There are also some players from the 2018 and 19 Scouting Grounds who might be close to making that leap. Amateur and academy talent development is picking up steam in North America, so make sure you tune into the Scouting Grounds event this year and support the players as they compete. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, uh, feel free to check out my sponsor, Alienware. There's a link in the description below. You can use code TravisTenoffQ3, or maybe, if that doesn't work, try TravisTenoffQ4. We're switching it up uh, to save 10% off your order. Maybe get an amazing computer like this one, which has an NVIDIA 3080 in it. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. We love you. Bye.